Hello everyone. I talked about some small tricks in VIFM a few days ago. Today I will talk about my top 10 hotkeys for VIFM. Uh, if you have, if you missed the other video, VIFM is a terminal file manager that mimics Vim, which uh, improve your uh, productivity uh, a lot. So I will probably talk about the basic usage as well when I talk about those uh, short keys. Yeah, so if you have, uh, when you use terminal, you're in some folder, uh, you're in the shell, oftentimes you need to do the list command to see what's going on, which is kind of inconvenient. If you do VIFM just like this, it will open up this folder uh, in two windows. VFM always default with two windows. So in this case, they will be the same because uh, you didn't give any argument. Um, so here I have one uh, short key, which is not uh, the default one. I use Q to quit. Default is uh, something else. So for VFM, if you p supply another um, path, say the download path, then one of them, one of the window will be the download, and the other one will be the current folder. So suppose you want to do some operations between these two folders, that would be very convenient. So you can copy things, uh, move okay. thing, one thing from from uh, one folder to another. Then you can do it that way. And that's where it shines. You can see like you don't need to type the full names. You can just visually select them and then do the corresponding operation. So if you want to toggle between two windows going from one place to another, you can either use space or you can use tab. Uh, these two are both uh, the default key bindings. Uh, okay. Uh, another important one is W for preview. So you can see, uh, I can see the content directly, what's in there. So you don't need to like really open it with uh, the enter key. So enter, you will really open it with the Vim. So let me come out. So, uh, but what if you want to go into the preview? This is actually also possible. Another key binding is the shift and tab, which is also the default one. Let me try this one, shift tab. Yeah, I can move now. Or oh, maybe that one was too short. Oh, I think I think my preview is not uh, Vim. My preview preview is bad, so you can only go up and down. Okay. Uh, so what about next one? Uh, let me see what else I want. I need to talk about. I talked about preview. Oh, yeah, about hidden files. So if you do dot, you can see. Uh, I just talk. You can see this uh, dot git. If I toggle it, then it will disappear. So it will show or not show the hidden files. So right now I'm still in the W, the preview mode. So if you want to turn it off, you just do W again. Okay. Uh, another f uh, another few command I use very often is uh, copy the absolute path. And that comes from the default uh, Vim RC file. So if you do YF, that copies the uh, the file pass. Uh, now let me show you uh, how to see that. So if you do S, that's also the default way it will bring up the shell. So if I you paste, you can see that's the file pass I just copied. So if I exit, then I go back to Vim, uh, uh, VIFM. So if you do YD, that copies the folder pass of the current folder. So if I do YD and I turn on the shell again, then that's this folder. Now let me go out. I can go to the other side, which is the download folder, which you can see here and here. So now let me do YD, and then I open up the shell. So this one will be the download folder. So this is very uh, often used. Another thing, uh, I, I made a custom uh, command, which is YF. That copies the f uh, file name. Sorry, did I do Y? Uh, not at YF. It's Y, Y, N. Y, N, it copies the file name. 
Okay, so now you can see it's only the file name without all the previous paths. You can find all my uh, all those custom commands in my vimrc. I will paste the link. Okay, now let me quit. So I go back to vimrc. Maybe that's all I need to cover. Oh, there's also X and A. So A is for changing the name of the of the file. So let's say I want to change the name. I just do A. And this one doesn't change the the extension because oftentimes you don't want to change extension. So you can just change the name to to something else. Let's change the file extension. Okay, then the other one is X. So sometimes uh, you want to go back, you want to sync these two windows. So I would just do X, then it becomes the same window again. Uh, the two windows will be of the same folder. Okay, let me tell you some other useful information. So if you go to their uh, website, they just show you the cheat sheet. You can see what are the default key bindings. And also, also after you install it, uh, it wouldn't come with uh, default vimrc, so you have to make it yourself. And you can find one example from their GitHub page. So if you go to data and uh, vimrc, then there is an example uh, vimrc settings. And also, if you are in the vimrc, you can do comma c. It will bring up the vimrc file. And you can just edit there. Uh, also, if you download that file, you paste it into this views folder. This should work for both Linux and Mac. I don't know what's the correct manual for Windows, but um, if you know, uh, if you do this kind of uh, coding, you probably know where to put them. Okay, that's all I want to cover today. Thanks for watching.